Sometimes when you have tension in a muscle, it can cause what's called a trigger point. A trigger point is a spot in the muscle that is bound up and holding tension that when it is activated by either pressing on it or by using it, it will refer pain someone, somewhere else. So for example, if you have tension or a trigger point in your upper trap muscle here, the, if you put pressure on it here, it might cause a headache or might cause pain somewhere further away. So in the example of a psoas and iliacus muscle, which make up your hip flexor, there's very common trigger points that can exist and super common that people have tension in this muscle. Speaking of the psoas, which is this muscle here, trigger points in the psoas typically refer to the back. As you can see, it attaches to the spine here. This is your lumbar spine, this is the blue section here. And when there's trigger points in the psoas, it will cause pain that's kind of along the lower back here. And I'll show that on my body in just a second. In addition, tension in the iliacus muscle, which is also very common, uh, will refer pain to the front of the thigh. So meaning that if you put pressure here or if you use this muscle, you'll end up having pain in the front of your thigh. So let me show you this on my body. So this iliacus, when pressed on or activated through movement or stretching, which would be right here on my body, would produce pain on the front of my thigh right here, refer pain. So oftentimes people who have pain here on the front of their thigh, so like this kind of area right here, think it's their quad or think that there's something tight or wrong with their quad and will roll out your quad and work on your quad. But in fact, it's actually coming from your iliacus, which is right inside the pelvic bone here. Similarly, the psoas muscle will refer pain to the back of the body, which I mentioned is right here. So on me, here's my pelvis, here's the top of my pelvis, and right here on the side of my lumbar spine is where it would refer pain. And a lot of people will think that that is just a muscle, you know, some sort of muscle tension or even something going on with the muscle, the joint in the spine or a disc issue or a muscle strain in the spine when in fact it's actually coming from the psoas, which typically is best accessed by the, through the front of the body. So it's important to know that pain in the area doesn't mean that that pain is coming from exactly where the pain is located. Oftentimes we can get this referral pain, which can refer somewhere else.